Working on a new uh, TextMate bundle for Safari web development. And I want to just show you a couple of highlights here in case you want to give it a shot. Uh, I'm going to make a new HTML5 doc. And much of the work that I uh, put into the bundle was uh, WebKit CSS type stuff. So we've got a couple of things here to look at. Um, got all of this stuff here. And you access it. I added it in so that it will integrate with the existing CSS bundle. So you can just type border and then you get all this radio stuff, border image, all that. And of course you get the, you know, tab ahead, etc. Um, let's look at another one. Background. See down here you get these additional options. And if you don't know what uh, <clears throat> this exactly does, WebKit Background Composite, you can select it and hit Control H. And that's the, that's the help feature. And here in the Safari one, it will actually jump to the Apple developer page for that particular uh, that particular CSS attribute. So you can get a little information about it, some discussion right there without having to Google around for it. Um, another one of those things that I always wish I had at my fingertips when I'm doing web development is the... Uh, HTML stuff that goes in the head. In particular, I can never remember the syntax for uh, any of these items. So, when you're in the head section, you can just tap on that and say, uh, web app capable, yes. Head, uh, touch icon. You can either do um, regular or pre composed, and then that would be the path to your icon. So let's say I just do like so. And startup image, that gives you a graphic that will show at launch when you have a full screen web app. So you need to have a Apple Mobile web app capable. Uh, set to yes. What else do we have? Status bar style, you can see you get your three options there default, black, black, translucent. So you get the idea. Um, now most all of these, if you're using JQ Touch, uh, which I'm a big fan of, all of these, you don't have to add these manually, but sometimes you're not using JQ Touch and you want to just uh, get this stuff done, so that's a good way to do it. Now another thing that uh, I am frequently forgetting is how did the, uh, the CSS property functions work. So for, let's just say we do background image. We'll do it like this, background, image. Now instead of URL, we're going to put gradient. So then we get our WebKit gradient options. And then it has reminders for everything on down the line. Uh, so that's just a quick overview. You can review what the options are by uh, going through these manually. Oh, I also added in a whole bunch of links to the Safari reference library. So this is to the overall home page for the Safari reference library. And then you've also got the uh, you've also got options for specific things within that. So if you're trying to remember what the Apple URL scheme references, for example, or you know, does that what what forms you can do, situations with forms. So uh, I find this pretty useful. I've already I've already been using it uh, extensively. And I hope you find it useful.